For the June issue of British Vogue, I worked on this 1970s inspired fashion story with Uber model of the moment, Kansas born Lindsay Wixon. Her face is a makeup artist's dream, and it was very difficult not to get excited about painting those amazing lips. The first look I did was this strong violet eye and glossy red mouth. The eye colour was from a Dolce Gabbana duo called Blossom and it was the purpley colour on the left hand side. I'm a big fan of this colour as it has an amazing iridescence to it. I wanted to make her skin look very hyper real and glossy, so I used Chanel's Vita Lumiere to get the shine but also to give it that real polished look. Next on the eyes I used Urban Decay eyeshadow in Flash. This was just to deepen the socket with a little bit more strong purple. Then I used My Face Cosmetics Bling Tone in Purple Haze. I wanted to give a real wet look to the eyelid, but do it in quite a sophisticated way. To add a little bit more shimmer at the inner corner, I used RMK's Ingenious Powder Eyes in a glittery lavender colour. I then used the Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Eyeliner in Black Plum Ink. For the blush, I wanted it to not really take over from the lips and eyes, but I wanted it to be present. I used a very bright pink MAC Powder Blush in Dolly Mix. For Lindsay's lips, I first laid down a stain with MAC's Ruby Woo. I then loaded Chanel's Extrade Gloss in Excess, which is a really bright lip gloss over the top. I was really happy with how this makeup looked under the lights, particularly with the textures, from the sheeny skin to the iridescent eyeshadow combined with the glitter. And her lips, well, they just sort of spoke for themselves anyway. And I was happy that I kind of took the plunge and really sort of invested in this red, super, super glossy lip. After removing all of the first look, I then moved on to look number two. I began by using MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre as a base on the eyes. I then went back to the Dolce Gabbana Duo Blossom, but this time I chose the more sort of orangey, rusty shade on the right hand side. I used this all across Lindsay's eyelids, and then I brought out the outer corners with Illamasqua eyeshadow and roulette. Unfortunately this is discontinued, but it was a really great brick, ready brown colour. This created a lot more definition at the outer corner. Next I applied My Face Cosmetics Bling Tone Eyeshadow in Morocco. This just again added that sheeny, wet look. The next step was the Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Eyeliner in Chocolate Shimmer, as I wanted to keep the eyes looking really warm. Lashings of Max Factor Masterpiece Mascara in Black. This time for cheeks, I went for something that was more corally pink. I chose Max Fleur Power. Again, I was keeping it quite high onto the cheekbones. As a big contrast from the warm eye colour, I went for a very, very bright pink lipstick. This is NARS lipstick in Shiap, and glossed it over with NARS lip gloss in Easy Lover, which is a very, very bright pink. I was really pleased with this look again. It was definitely more playful than the first look because I think the bright pink lips just gave it a playful edge and I think that contrasted with the glittery, rusty, sort of more corally colours that had a more sort of youthful feel. To perfect the edges I used a fuchsia lip pencil. The one I'm using here is discontinued but Illamasqua do one called Bait which is very similar. For the last look, I did a bit of a mixture of everything I'd done before. I think I sort of just wanted to play with colour and have a bit more fun. I used the Dolce Gabbana Duo eyeshadow in Blossom again, which I think you can probably tell now I'm having a, a moment with that eyeshadow palette. I love it. I went for the violety, very iridescent, bluey pink colour again. This time though I combined it with a really, really bright, bright pink eyeshadow and also a very, very bright orange. Both of these were by Inglot. 
Because there was so much colour on the eyes, this time I used a black liner. I used MAC Fluid Line in Black Track. I felt this just sort of grounded the makeup because there was quite a lot going on and it was quite bright and quite colourful on the eyes. After applying black mascara, I used MAC lipstick, this time in Lady Danger, so very, very bright lip colour. I topped this off again with Chanel's Extra de Gloss in 60. Throughout all of the looks, I kept Lindsay's skin texture exactly the same, so hyper real and sheeny, and also I kept the blush placement the same. So the only thing that was really changing was the lip colour and the eye colours, although the place I was putting them, the sort of shape I was creating was staying the same each time. So I think that gave it some kind of continuity. This look felt really, really glamorous to me. It was a great two day shoot. I'm really happy with the work. If you want to see more, you can download the British Vogue iPad app, or you can obviously look in the magazine. What was really nice was that Lindsay herself loved the makeup and I think as a makeup artist that makes you so happy.